Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between the number two and the number four shot black cloud shells. Um, these have uh, flight stopper pellets inside of them so we're going to go ahead and break this down and see how many pellets you actually get in each one of these shells. First off let's go ahead and make sure that the weights come out to about uh, one and a half ounces that's what's supposed to be in both of these. These are both three and a half inch shells and the velocity on these are both 1500 FPS. So everything is equal besides the uh, size of the pellets inside. Um, let's go ahead and weigh these up now. Okay, I've went around back side of the camera so that we can actually uh, weigh these up. First off, let's turn on the balance. We're in uh, ounces here, and the balance is zeroed out. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in the normal pellets, not the flight stopper ones. And we get 0 0.90. Now let's go ahead and add in the flight stopper pellets. Let's see how much weight we have. These are the uh, number four shot. 0.58. So these come to a total of 1.48 ounces, just shy of the one and a half ounce. Not bad though. Now let's move over to the number two shot. So let's go ahead and add in the non-flight stopper pellets first. We also get 0 .90. These are the number two pellets. And now the flight stopper. 0 .58, so we do get the same weight on these ones as well. We come to a total of 1.48 ounces, just shy of the one and a half ounce that are supposed to be in these cells. Um, that could be just a rounding error on this balance though. Now let's go ahead and look at the pellet count on paper. All right, here we have the uh, number two pellets over here on this side and the number four pellets on this side. It looks like the number four pellets take up a little bit larger area and they do take up a little bit more of an area, um, but the volumes are definitely the same between both these shells. And we can see this because uh, the weights are exactly the same. Now I went ahead and counted each of the pellets in these shells, and for the number two shells, we had 64 flight stopper pellets and 112 of the regular pellets for a total of 176 pellets in the number two shell. Now over here on the number four shot, we had 103 of the flight stopper pellets and 173 of these regular pellets. So a total of 276 pellets total in the number four shot. Now when we break these down into percentages, the uh, number two flight stopper had 36% and the number two regular pellets had 64%. There were a 37% flight stopper in the number four shell and 63% of the regular pellets. So that's kind of breaking down all the details of these. I'll do a close up of each one of these. You can see the pellets are very uniform in shape, so not much of a difference there. Now when we look at price between both these shells, uh, they are the same price, $23 per box when you buy them in bulk or 92 cents per shell. Now people will probably ask, well, which would I rather use out in the field? And it kind of depends on the situation and what you're hunting for. You're not gonna use a number four shot to take down some geese. Probably possible, especially at close range, but it's just not usually what you use. I would use the number four shot for hunting uh, teal, uh, early teal season, when you know you're not gonna be shooting um, some of the larger diver ducks, um, some of the mallards. However, if you're in normal duck season, number two shot is kind of the all around go-to. This will take down duck, this will take down geese. However, the number four shot, you can see how much more pellet count there is here. This is just that much more that that is gonna actually fill in your pattern on your shotgun when you take a shot, so less likely that you're going to miss with the number four shot on a smaller bird like teal. Now my next video I'm gonna be filming is actually comparing number two shot to BB. These are more of a goose load rounds, um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.